What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves an awesome team today that features Baxcalibur and Belly Bolt. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds every day to click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. But I want to go over two things. First thing, we got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Viking BGC. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I absolutely love it. Played with it on the casual ladder a little bit and now trying to showcase it and grab some wins for you guys. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. Another thing I want to mention is my lack of uploads yesterday. Well, by the time of this recording if you guys are watching this the day after i missed the upload i apologize just had some personal stuff to deal with had uh some school stuff had some family stuff and on top of that i had a hockey championship game so just was very busy all around just want to apologize for that lack of upload but we are back back to daily uploads every single day on this channel with those out the way we can actually get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only back caliber i feel like everybody loves this pokemon such a cool pseudo legendary all around with that dragon ice type it has thermal exchange as its ability, alongside with the loaded dice as its item. This is my first time using loaded dice as its item, so hopefully it will work out well when we use it with Icicle Spear. Other three moves we got is going to be Glaive Rush, Stopping Cantrum, and Sword Stance for our setup. Second Pokemon is going to be our Weather Control Pokemon. It is going to be a Bomb of Snow with Snow Warning and the Focus Sash. It's got a War Veil to set up both Light Screens and Reflect, and then it's got Blizzard, Energy Ball, and Terror Blast for its other moves. To pair up with Bomb of Snow is going to be Sea Titan, our third Pokemon with Slush Rust and Citrus Berry. So it can double its speed in the snow and then kind of just get after the battle that way. It has Ice Spinner, Liquidation, Earthquake, and Belly Drum. If we can set up a Belly Drum, this thing can sweep out some battles. It really can. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Belly Bolt, a brand new Pokemon in Generation 9. And this thing is just adorable. Look how funny it looks. It's just hilarious. It's like a little electric frog that's a little pudgy and had too many like... What, what, what do frogs eat? Flies? So yeah, it had a little bit too many flies to eat. It has the weakness policy as the item, and then a brand new ability. Sorry if I mispronounce this. Electromorphosis. Is that how you pronounce it? Hopefully it is. But what that ability allows us to do is every time Belly Bolt gets hit, it becomes charged, and his next electric type move will do more damage. So we can actually proc weakness policy with a Rangaroo's Bulldoze, get the weakness policy proc, and then on top of that, get Electro morphosis on top of that so it's just like a big stack and then it's just charging to do some crazy damage and a slack off discharge muddy water and weather ball for its moves bottom left hand corner is going to be our trick room setter it is going to be a wrangler with telepathy and mental herb telepathy allows us not to get hit by uh ally pokemon moves so pairing that up with the belly bolt could be really good it has bulldoze energy ball instruct and trick room final pokemon on the today's team is going to be a moon it's a great pokemon in trick room and it's just a great support mon all around that's regenerator alongside with the rocky helmet and it's got rage powder spore clear smog and protect guys you want to run this team for yourself but the code is at the top right hand corner but let's get after it let's hop on that ranked double ladder look to get some wins with this Bax caliber and belly bolt team first match coming at you guys and i want to see this belly bolt speed right here. i gotta see this belly bolt speed it is 59 so it's gonna really thrive in the trick room i kind of want to set up trick room do i set up trick room turn one I do not have like protect or anything with Belly Bolt. I could slack off, which could be really good because if it takes damage, I can just constantly get that HP back. So I might leave Belly Bolt and a Rangaroo, try to pop a Trick Room and just go from there. I think I'm all about it. I think I'm all about it. And what's your speed on Rangaroo? You should be a bit faster, right? 58. Oh, are you faster or are you slower? I think you're slower, right? Actually, slower works perfectly because if I could set up the Trick Room, we can kind of just get rolling from there. So you know what? I'm going to go with Rangaroo. I'm going to go Belly Bolt and try to showcase this combo in match number one. We're also going to be bringing the uh, loaded dice back caliber and then final Pokemon. Let's so go see Titan. Just to have this Pokemon for some extra damage in the back end. It's pretty bulky and all around decent, so I'm with Sea Titan. I'm all about it. Or I can go Abomasnow with the Sash. Abomasnow with the Sash isn't too bad. I like its ice timing. Plus, uh, Grass would be super effective on that at Rock. So, you know what? We're going to go Abomasnow instead. I'd like it. I dig it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one and hopefully showcase Belly Bolt because Belly Bolt is, it's just a crazy cool Pokemon design wise. I think it looks incredible. I really do. When I first saw it, I was like, yo, what is this? But it's Belly Bolt, dude. It's so sick. Big fan of the Belly Bolts. But they're going to end up leading Gargonac and Meowskerada. So that's totally fine. I'm really cool with that. Uh, Belly Bolt is chilling here. Um, I could slack off this turn, which wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to slack off this turn, take whatever damage I, can, I have, and then just go into a Trick Room. 
Yeah, pop the trick room and then I can bulldoze next turn. Pop with this policy and just get after it. But he's gonna wide guard. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. He's wide guard. He's just gonna pop a flower trick into belly bolt. Belly bolt. You should soak pretty well. Yeah, you get a crit. That's totally fine. We got that electromorphosis powering up, which we love. And slack off is coming in here hot. But the real question is. Hmm. The real question is. Is this thing going to wide guard again? That's a real problem. It's a real problem because I only had these moves. I would love to go for like a muddy water or a discharge. I would absolutely love to do this. What do I do here? I could just go for a straight weather ball. But I would love to just drop a discharge. I would love to drop a discharge. But you know what? I might say screw it. No, we're going to drop a discharge. I would love to instruct too, but you know, I'm gonna bull this first. Please do not wide guard again. My heart! My heart! <laughs> I knew he's gonna do it. I knew it. I should just weather ball into Miascarada. Does Bulldoze still hit me? Because if it only blocks his side, I wouldn't mind it. But still. Kind of looking a little tough. Hmm. Yeah, it still hits my Belly Bolt. So Belly Bolt is gonna get weak to Policy Pie. I feel like he just stays and he constantly wise guards, right? It just seems like to play. It just seems like to play. So I'm going to weather ball and I'm going to instruct the weather ball. Might have to swap next turn into like a bomb. So just keep a wrangle roof for later. But this charge could be able to rip. Wide guard seems like it's a pain right now. Hmm. Great plays by our opponent. Really good plays by our opponent. Next card is probably popping another flower trick. Telepathy will not allow our discharge to hit a wrangle And flower trick's actually going to slide over there, which I'd like a little bit more. I could soak pretty well. He does get the crit. But from here, I feel like it's just a simple weather ball into Miascarada and then an instruct for another weather ball, or I can go for an energy ball. I'm kind of with the energy ball. Just to deal damage onto this Pokemon. Yeah, that's fine. He's gonna Y guard again. And do we think he Y guards next turn? Because <laughs> I could totally pop another discharge next turn. I would love to. Weather ball is gonna fly here. It's only 50 base damage with nothing going on here. So it's just gonna chip up a little bit. Energy ball is gonna fly into this thing, and it's probably holding leftovers. We're going to chip up some damage. Flyarcher coming in here. Kind of pick up the KO. I'm fine with that. I really am fine with that. <clears throat> so Rangaroo drops out here. I feel like I have to bring out the hail, right? Bring out the hail all day. Change a weather ball over. I'm all about it. And if I can start getting rid of this Gargle Knack, we could be thriving here. Because I do have Energy Ball on you. And you could do a lot more damage. You can definitely do a lot more damage. Or I could set up an Aurora Veil. Which I would love to set up an Aurora but I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna weather ball the uh, the Miascarada, take that out, out, and just set up an Aurora Veil this turn, and then get after the Gargoyle Neck next turn. Energy balls and everything. But this is tough. This is tough because I have Belly Bolt set up here, but our problem is we're going up against a Wide Guard Pokemon. And I feel like next turn I could pop a Discharge for free if I want to. He's gonna withdraw the Miascarada. That's totally fine. You can swap it into. Next turn, ooh, Armourer's gonna come in here, so good call. He swaps to the Armourer's. He's basically out Trick Room turns really, really well. And Wyguard's still flying. Wyguard is still here. It's still out and about. And I might Terra Blast that thing. I might swap my, or Thrasilize my Abomas now. Might be the best play. Might be the best play. Right, Thrasilize and that Abomas though could be good. Leftover's gonna pop open on this thing. Argonax annoying me so much right now. And I feel like Discharge might be the play right now. Or Muddy Water would be better. No, because if we Terrasilize, it would be super effective. Ah, oh, dude. Hmm. Did I have the Roar Veil out? I think I'm just going to Energy Ball into that. Bomb stuff still has Focus Ash, too. Muddy Water, yes. We read the no wide guard there. Belly Bolt ripping. Belly Bolt ripping, baby. Big time Muddy Water. We like that. Actually, Muddy Water doesn't hit my alley Pokemon. Only Surf does. But still, that's solid. Salt Cure gonna come out here. I'm a big fan of that turn right there. Making the right call. Predicting him not going into another wide guard. I was gonna say, we were going for solo moves for so long. He's gotta stop at some point. We go for the energy ball and we get rid of that Pokemon. So I am free to just pop discharges with the belly bolt and get after. I think there's one more turn left in Trick Room, or it might end here. It might end, and that could hurt. That could really hurt if it ends here. But it does end here, but we have a Roar Bell set up, which is gorgeous. My Pokemon should be able to soak up some damage. The crits from the Flower Trick could do me dirty, but I have Max Calibur in the back end who can really help me out. 
Dragon. Oh no, not Dragonite. Not Dragonite. I'm all about these discharges here, though. I'm all about popping the discharge, and I'm all about popping the blizzard. Hmm. I have to save. I have to save my what's it called? I really have to save my thrasilization for my back scout. But this is such a good first battle. But dude, if he didn't have wide guard, I would have ended it 17 years ago. There's a normal type, the normal terror typing. Uh, East speed is probably double down and belly bolt, right? I feel like there's no doubt in my mind you double down and belly bolt. Let's see, knockoffs can come out here. Can you eat that? You can. Belly bolt might be able to eat up a uh, East speed. He D, oh, he D dances. This could be really good for us. This could be really good because I think I just pick up KOs here, right? I think I just win. Blizzard should take out Masquerada. It does. Actually, Dragonite eats that up rather well. Maybe we get a paralyze on this thing. But it has no double hitting moves. Discharge gonna fly here. Bop. Yo, Belly Bolt getting some mean damage. We chip up the bomb of snow. And Salt Cure is chipping me up. So we can survive one more Salt Cure, which is good. And we can just kind of just get after his Pokemon right now. <clears throat> oh, I do have Weather Ball. Actually, Weather Ball's not super effective. I'm just gonna pop another Discharge and go into a, uh, a Blizzard. Actually, I feel like... Do we Terra here? And just finish this? This Belly Bolt should be able to eat up whatever he has. Yeah, I'm going to Thrasilize and end it. Belly Bolt should be able to eat up whatever Dragonite has to offer. If he goes into an E-Speed, we have the War Veil to soak up some shots. This should be GG's. Belly Bolt thriving in battle number one. Had a tough time with the Wide Guard, but yo, we, we, we came back on that. We came back on that. We made a perfect time read with the uh, with the Wide Guard. We got Belly Bolt rolling here. But yo, Belly, belly Bolt's a threat. This thing's a threat. You're just threatening Pokemon. E oh, EQ's coming out here. Can you eat that? Belly Bolt soaks. See, I told you, yo. Belly Bolt soaking. Obama Snow even soaks. A War Veil's OP. Ability comes out here. That's just that just solidifies the battle. Okay, Blizzard just takes him out. GG. GG. Well played, Jeans. Well played. Well played. Wanna know to get things started? We got the showcase belly bolt. Let's hop to our second. Look to go back to back. So far, I am absolutely loving this Belly Bolt team. Belly Bolt is just such a fun Pokemon to use. I love ripping into meta Pokemon with it. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Gallade team. And this might be the team I showcased on the channel with Gallade. It might be a little bit different, but I did showcase a Gallade team. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. It was Gallade and Dragonite. Yeah, so this should be the team. As Annihilate, Murkrow, Hydreigon, Gallade, E-Speed, Normal ty Terror Typing with that... uh. Dragonite, and then Golden Go as its final Pokemon. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like C Titan and Abomasun, we could get the weather set up right here. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. I get a Baxcalibur in the back end. I do have a Terra type of... What's my Terra on this thing? Ice. Huh, do I really want to do that? Because a fighting Pokemon could... Like, like Annihilate and Glade could really, really do me dirty. The thing is, I could set up an Aurora Veil turn one. I have the Sash. I kind of get after it that way. I think we bring in Amoongus in the back end. I like having Amoongus here just for spores and late game uh, stuff. And he has a Rocky Helmet as well, which could help us out. All right, I'm with it. We're going to keep the Belly Bolt and the uh, and the Rangaroo in the back end for this next battle. And then hopefully third and final battle, we can get Belly Bolt back out. But again, Belly Bolt, you guys seen the last battle, just steamrolled. Just steamrolled. I just wish they didn't have Wide Guard because I probably could have swept that battle. I would have had Telepathy. I would have just been sending them... I would have been sending discharges and then instructing my belly bolt to do another one. But he's going to end up leading these two, which a little bit of a pain. Kind of don't like it. Kind of do like it. Have him half and half on this one. But Annihilate should be choice. So I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm not going to try to set up a... Uh, I'm not going to try to set up a belly drum. I'm going to go for an Aurora Veil and an Ice Spinner. Because I can see a final game coming out here. Definitely see a final camera coming out here. And I kind of hope he goes after Bomb Snow with it. Because I can actually KO that. Still have my Focus Sash to use. And then go into a nice, lovely Aurora Bell. But something I'm not too sure about is... Does Final Gambit bypass Focus Sash? Okay, or you just straight close combat me. I soak really well. Wow, I soak really well. That's really cool. That's really good. Because I can eat up another close combat after this. Is he doubling down on Sea Titan? That's the real question. This thing's so bulky on the defensive side. Eating up close combats? Super effective close combats, I should say. Take a sword gonna come out here. I'm cool with that. I'm sashed up. I'm all sashed up. I'm all sashed up. We focus sash up and we get the ward off, so I'm really liking that. I am really liking that. His defense is down. I am going to 
But double down into Annihilate? King is a pain. I don't really feel like dealing with Annihilate. I'm just gonna drop a Blizzard. I mean, he outspeeds me. He withdraws Glade. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because he's choosing to close combat. He's gonna go in the Golden Go. The Golden Go comes out here. I don't mind that too much. I have a few Pokemon to kind of counter that. He goes after Obama Snow. Totally fine. I feel like Sea Titan has a chance to KO here, right? He's minus two on defense. It's Choice Scarf. We already know that. So it doesn't have Focus Ash or anything. And Ice Spinner. It should be able to pick up the KO. Wow, it doesn't. And we even get a crit on that. We can get a crit on that. But I could go into Baxcalibur. I do not want to go into Baxcalibur. I'll just have Rocky Helmet KO. I'll just Rage Power this turn. Have Rocky Helmet KO the Annihilate. And then we'll go from there. Then we shall go from there. Get Terra in the water. I do have EQ. Would be super effective. I do have Ice Spinner, but I'm thinking of a bunch of popping EQ here. I might just protect you. Do I protect you? I know Sea Titan can actually eat up a shot. I know Sea Titan can eat up a close combat all day. I'm with it. And I know Sea Titan outspeeds the Golden Go. It outspeeds that lovely little Golden Go. So much all the Annihilate. That's totally fine. Who are you going to go into from here? Back into two Glade? Yeah. So Glade comes back out here. Maybe this EQ can KO? I'm not too sure. EQ coming in hot. We know it's going to do a decent amount of damage to Glade. But not too sure about the Glade here. EQ, loving this move. Almost takes out the Glade. How much damage to Golden go? About half. A little bit less than half. And we protect that shot. And Golden Go, what are you doing? Did it even say it was doing a move? Did it even say it was using Make It Rain? <laughs> I didn't even see that. He drops a special attack. Um, I can bring out Baxcalibur here. Lovely little Baxcalibur. And I could go for a stopping tantrum if I want. I do have the loaded dice, which I, I really do love. We bring out the Baxcalibur. And I feel like stopping tantrum should be able to pick up the KO. I could tear it into ice. I'm not going to do it just yet. I could Sword Sands here. I could Sword Sands here. But I feel like this should pick up the KO. Let me see the attack stats on these guys. Is it, I don't know if Stomping Tantrum will KO. 146. Oh, yeah. 211. This thing is insanely strong. Its speed is rather low, though. So I am going to follow me these shots. Or not follow me. Rage Powder them. And Rocky Helmet will take out the Glade. And then we'll go from there. We shall go from there. Psycho Cut. That, that's fine. Does some damage. Rocky Helmet says, see you later. Oh, this thing... Wait, Rocky? Oh, that's, thing, that's a special attacking move? That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. I really need that. Zombie Tantrum flies. And yeah, we're not looking too hot for this battle. We are not looking too hot for this battle. Not looking good at all. Because Annihilate comes back out here. He could truly scarf and pretty much just rip into me. But I feel like I have to follow me these shots. If he was smart, he would bring out his other Pokemon besides Annihilate. We'll see who it is. It's going to be Hydreigon. So, I mean, I guess I have to Terra. I wish I'd protect on this thing. But I guess I have to Terra go into Icicle Spear. But loaded dice. And then just Rage Powder again. This is tough, but it seems like it's GG's, right? It seems like he just Terra's into fire. And then Psycho Cut KOs me, and then he kind of just rips into my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over with. I wasn't going to Glade Rush it, but he outspeeds me. He outspeeds me. I should have popped that Shrikram, because this... Uh... This Baxcalibur is really slow, and I kind of forgot about his speed being slow, especially because his nature is dropped in speed. There's no EVs in speed. It's kind of made for Trick Room. So, next battle, I think we're going to learn our lesson. Too. I think we're just getting slapped slapped up on. We didn't play too bad in this battle, but I feel I feel like I feel like we kind of did. We <laughs> get like half and half, but we're going to be sitting at 101 after this battle. Hopefully, we can get off this Icicle Spear, but I think we just die. Heat Wave comes out here. Baxcalibur dodges. We like that dodge. We like that dodge, but still, I think Elite comes out here and finishes me off. Surprised that Kaijugan's faster than, than the Glade. That's weird, but yeah, I think Close Combat just comes in here. Nope, Sacred Sword, that KOs me regardless. That's GG's. That is GG. Sacred Sword pops in, takes out my back caliber, and yeah, that battle was a little, little rough for us. Definitely was a little rough for us, but we can hop into our third and final battle and look for a victory. Second battle did not go so well for us. We're hopping into our third and final battle and looking for a win here. We're going up against a Sand Rush Lycan Rock team with Miascarada, King Gambit, and then Annihilate and what is that Pokemon called? Rotom. So um I could bring Weather, I could lead it, but I feel like 
we should just save weather for the back end. So I'm going to go with Belly Bolt and Aragaru. I'm loving these guys. They're awesome. I have to watch out for... Okay, he doesn't have any ground Pokemon. But I feel like Lycanroc or Titar could easily pop EQs if they have it on them. That could be scary. But I'm still going to lead them to... I got to bring my Bomb Snow and I got to bring the Max Calibre, right? I feel like that's just a perfect little combo. If we could set up Churkin, we could thrive out pretty well here. I'm all about it. I am all about it. But we'll see who he wants to lead. I feel like Annihilate could be a lead. Um, I could slack off if he go, does go into Annihilate with, with Belly Bolt again, like battle number one, because Belly Bolt's HP stats rather high. It's over 200, and I think Annihilate kind of like floats near the 200s. It's not really, I don't think it's anything above like 209. But I don't ever remember seeing it like 210 or higher. But we'll see who he wants to lead. Where are you leading? Like a rock and Annihilate. So he's looking at Final Gambit here. We see us from 60,000 miles away. Looking to go for the Final Gambit. I do want to go for Trick Room. I kind of do want to slack off. We are at 209. I am going to slack off here if I can. If I can. And I'm just going to go for the Trick Room. Because he wants the Final Gambit. We know he wants the Final Gambit and get in the T-Tar. That's totally fine. Oh, right, we should be able to soak this, right? Correct? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, 183. No. That one hurts. That one hurts. Like a rock's going to pop off a move. And do I bring out a bomb of snow? This one's gonna be tough. Rock size can come out here. We're gonna eat, and we're just gonna slack off this turn. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts that uh that we don't get the trick him off. It does hurt. It does indeed hurt. Uh, we go bomb of snow. Let me see your speed. 58. Oh yeah, your weather will come out last. I'm gonna swap in. I'm gonna swap in because T-Tar should come out from him, right? This is Titar. It is Titar. So perfect. He's going to set the sand stream. And then I'm going to cancel it out with the snow. I'm all bad. So no sand rush on his end. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think we're fine. I think we're. In I could set up an Aurorville. I think this would be the turn to set up an Aurorville and pop a nice, lovely, muddy water. Nice, lovely, muddy water. For show, for show. And then Aurorville. Because he could swap Titar this turn. That's why I say this could be a solid turn for us to set this up. Pops a rock slide. That's fine. Another rock slide can come out here. I might, maybe should have dropped an electric move. Another rock slide does come out here. Takes out my bomb, so I'm fine with that. I really am fine. You do get a crit, but I think it was taking me out regardless. I think it was taking me out regardless. We're going to be able to pop a muddy water. I wish we had trick him. We have such slow Pokemon out on the field. Muddy water's flying. Muddy water coming in hot. Doing some nice damage to Lycan Rock. Um, Got to bring out the back caliber here. Got to bring out the caliber. This is so tough, dude. We're just versing like teams that are countering my ice Pokemon. <laughs> we really are. Uh, I could discharge for free here, which would not be bad. I feel like discharge should be able to take him out. And I could terrestrialize and go into an icicle spear. Which I would love to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's terrestrialize. Let's terrestrialize. But yeah, if we got off Trick Room, we really would have been thriving. So that was a good call for him to go straight up to my Oranguru. I wish Oranguru had a bit more HP to survive those final gambits, because I feel like final gambiting is a perfect way to counter Trick Room teams. I feel like they really are. You just final gambit the Trick Room user all day. Take him out, no problem. Close combat coming in here, that's going to hurt. But we soak up pretty well. I like that all day. He drops his defense. We are going to hit ourselves with a discharge, which kind of hurts the soul. Rock Side's going to fly here. Max Calibur's eating. Hold up, wait a minute, there's a chance here. Do not KO my Max Calibur Belly Bolt. I'd be very upset. I would be so upset. <laughs> we do have loaded dice here, so we should be able to chip up, maybe hit it for five times, which would be awesome. Icicle Spear is flying. There's two. There's three. Give me four. Loaded dice, I love you. Four. Give me five loaded dice. Yo, loaded dice. <laughs> loaded dice. All we needed to do was muddy water, so it's gonna it's gonna hurt if I do KO my back caliber here. It's gonna really suck if I do KO my back caliber. Belly bolt for discharge. I can't with my back's caliber. Are we going to lose like that? Are we going to lose like that? <laughs> Belly Bolt's ripping, though. Belly Bolt is ripping. Are we going to lose like that? Belly Bolt's low on HP. What's his final Pokemon? King Gambit. Oh, yeah, we lost. Not the Gambits. <laughs> Not the King Gambit. He still has Terror type, too. I mean, Discharge would be our best bet, right? Or do we slack off? But this restores half of it, right? Half its max HP, so we get 100 back. I feel like slack off's definitely a player. 
Because if it doesn't KO, we can kind of just like constantly get HP. But I think if it KOs. <gasps> no, we can constantly get HP. Hold up, Belly Bolt. Hold up, Belly Bolt. Hold up, Belly Bolt. Hold up, Belly Bolt. We're going to keep slacking off. It's going to terrasalize, right? Surprised he hasn't terrasalized yet. Don't terrasalize. That's fine. Hold up, Belly Bolt. Hold up, Belly Bolt. One more slack off, Belly Bolt. One more slack off, Belly Bolt. And then we shall attack. Did he terrasalize yet? Belly Bolt. I'm loving you, buddy. Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> it ain't over yet. Uh, One more. Should we go for one more? I'll go for one more. I'll play it on the safe side. I will play this match on the safe side all day. All day, Belly Bolt. Back to full HP. No problem. No problem. No problem. Did he terrasalize? King, he didn't terrasalize with King Gambit. Like Rock or Titar did not terrasalize either. I don't want him to terrasalize. Maybe his typing is kind of whack, so he doesn't want to do it. So now we're going to go and discharge. Iron Head's If you flinch me, I'm going to cry. Do not flinch me. I worked so hard to get that HP back. Oh, we don't flinch, yo. Belly Bolt's going to win. We're going to. Yo, Belly Bolt with the crit. Belly Bolt, nasty. Nasty comeback with Belly Bolt. What a way to grab ourselves a winner record for today's video. Belly Bolt with one of the best clutch I have had in this game so far. Absolutely love this team today. So much fun and awesome off meta team to counter up the meta. You got the Belly Bolt, you got the loaded dice back caliber, and then you got the slush rush combo with C Titan and Bombaso, then two support mods with a Rangaru and a Moongus. One last huge shout out to Viking VGC for making this team to me. Like I said, I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. Show him some jeans love. But all around, I love this team and we grabbed ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is gonna be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend positive day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody